All Things Motoring International is owned and brought to you by SA's most trusted online vehicle platform, Change Cars. Our name says it all. Whether you're looking to sell, need advice, need finance, or need insurance, Change Cars has you covered. This week's episode of All Things Motoring International. Mike and Temba attend LR Outdoor Expo, and Ernest pays a visit to a very special mini collection. This is a show with exploration and heart. We're in Bruderstrom for the magnificent Outdoor Expo held over three days, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And talking about magnificent, all things motoring is on the scene so you can guess the weather. I've said it before, as South Africans we love our sport, we love our cars and we most definitely love the incredible outdoors and outdoors is what we're here for today. Well that is it, I think we've been innovative in every sense of the word when it comes to outdoors and everything and here we've got all these incredible craft, these innovative individuals, it is super, I can't wait to see what's happening here today. As we walk around, it is crystal clear the amount of exhibitors that are here. And it's about everything, Temba. It's the camping equipment, the camping gear. It's not going to be a lot of all things motoring, but it's going to be a lot of all things outdoor, all things camping, and all things that you enjoy. The great outdoors, South Africans love their mountain climbing, their hiking, and when all goes according to plan, absolutely perfect, but sometimes it doesn't go according to plan, and that's where Michelle comes in. Michelle, you represent an incredible organization that keeps us safe when we can't keep ourselves safe. Tell us about it. Sometimes it happens. Um, so today here we have Mountain Club of South Africa Search and Rescue Section and Ground Search and Rescue. Both are volunteer organizations. All of us give of our time and our own equipment. We are involved when people go missing or become injured in the mountains. We are a phone call away. So I've always lived by the theory, no pain, no pain. I personally am not a hiker. I'm not a mountain climber, but many of you are. This incredible organization, the details will appear on your screen right now. If you're looking to make a donation to a worthy cause, I don't think you can do much better than this. And behind us, something interesting, a beautiful four-legged, Colleague, tell us about your four-legged colleagues. So this is Thea and Neptune. These are both retired dogs. Um, they are and currently our cuddle bugs, oh, but it. they were both trained in wilderness air scenting and in trailing. So they can both find people in very different ways. We've also got our other dogs here today, our current working dogs. They are wilderness air centers who can find a specific person right. or who can find any person in an area. So to you and the incredible team, four-legged or two-legged, keep up the good work. At least you know that if you're involved in this team, when you retire, you continue to be pampered. <laughs> Michelle, wishing you the very, Thank very Thank you best. very much. Take care. <laughs> So Temba and myself have just had some fun in a competition playing lawn dart. I personally think it was rigged, guess why? <laughs> but on a serious note, ZF, this is not about lawn darts, this is about the most incredible transmissions the world over. Tell us about the company that is ZF, Marius. So Michael, we're one of the largest uh, auto manufacturers worldwide, not just in the transmissions. This is our famous eight-speed that's in most of the vehicles nowadays. Right. We specialize in off-highway stuff, truck and bus, uh, agriculture, uh, big yellow machines, the marine and everything. And then we have shocks, where Sachs also belongs to the ZF group. Nice. Lemfreude, the BMW suspension we do for Roslyn. Um, and we manufacture it for OE, OE spec. And then in uh, Germiston, we have a, a workshop where our remand center is as well, where we service the vehicles, typically the Land, land Rover and BMW vehicles. Yeah. Often we think of different manufacturers. You think of BMW, Mercedes, Audi, Cherry, whatever the case may be. 
many of the components in these incredible vehicles are shared, not designed by the OEMs themselves, and that's where ZF comes in. How many manufacturers worldwide does ZF work with? Just about everyone. We manufacture automotive components from your heads-up display right through right. to the brake pads. And most of the vehicles I can think of, it's BMW, Land Rover, Haval, uh, Jaguar, and then obviously the biggest stuff. Oh. We've just signed up a contract with John Deere where we're going to reman their transmissions and axles as well. Think about what Marius just said. Just about everyone. If it hasn't got ZF components, you ain't got the best. So when you go by, ask. Has my vehicle got ZF in it? Marius, it's been amazing chatting Thank to you. Thank you, Michael. Tell me about Temba. Was that rigged? I just need to know for the audience. That wasn't rigged. He won you. <laughs> Thank you. As South Africans, there are many things that we can be proud of. Today, there's one aspect that I'd like to focus on. Over the last 20 years, as a country, the way we treat our community with special needs has absolutely improved tremendously. I'm chatting to Normie. Normie, you've got a very special story and you've got a very special product. I'd love yes. you to share both with us. Oh, thanks so much, Michael. And uh, all the glory for, uh, to God for giving us this opportunity to speak. Yeah, I was uh, in a motor car accident uh, 27 years ago. I'm a paraplegic uh, T78. So when they talk about a life-changing incident, this is a life-changing incident. Absolutely. But one thing that hasn't changed, and I have to share it with the uh, viewers, is your attitude. I've just met you today, but the warmth, the smile, the positivity, and I think you said it. There's so many things to be positive about. Yeah. What you are sitting in, this is your brainchild. Yes. A gentleman who spends his days in a wheelchair. You need the very best. If you can't find it, you design it. You design it and you build it. <laughs> Tell us about the product. Yeah, thanks so much. One big problem for me was always getting on the beach. If I want to go with my family and go on a holiday, they get me to a certain point and there you are and you get stuck and you can't move. So that was that was uh, one of the, of the big uh, th uh, problems that I had to solve. So on your screen right now, you'll see the details of how you can get hold of Normie and his company. If you have a need for such a wheelchair, it looks incredible. It's completely versatile. You look super comfortable, hey, smile, yeah. on your, <laughs> smile on your face. Yeah. Normie, often I say thank you on behalf of All Things Motoring. Today, I'm gonna to say thank you on behalf of all the viewers, the South African public and the special needs community. Your positivity shines through, as I've said, May you, the company, and your family go from strength to strength. Oh, Michael, thank you. Thank you so much. So as we continue our adventure here at the Outdoor Expo, we've passed a stand that Ernest would absolutely lose his mind if he saw it, and that is the bare feet stand. Atia, this is your stand, correct? Yes. The outside of this, I have the privilege of emceeing a lot of uh, fun runs and running events, and I'm seeing a lot more of these sort of minimalist footwear trends sneaking in. Can you tell us a little bit more about bare feet, minimalist footwear, and uh, I believe it's taken the world by storm. If you look at about 20 to 30 years back, all our runners worldwide ran bare feet. Wow. And then our bigger brands came in and made us believe that we need to elevate our feet. No, that's where all our back problems come in. That's where our neuropathy comes in. It's because we walk running in an elevation, whereas we're supposed to run flat-footed. They're very light. All our shoes are under 300 grams. And I'm a runner myself, and I only run bare feet. Okay, so maybe I'm going to take on running. I'm going to, I'm going to get some bare feet, and then I'm going to attempt the running. Just to talk about the range that you guys have, um, you know, with, I've got two kids of my, of my own, and there's lots of discussion about kids and shoes. Um, is there something that uh, bare feet caters to? So bare feet has just brought out a kiddies range. Also flat, got a good grip to it, and also the white toe box, which we should be keeping our kids in. So that's super interesting. Like I said, we've we've done some research as parents, but I actually still don't know why it's important to keep that that wide foot. Okay, so if you look at. Um, all the kids, they've all got problems with bunions. And the bunions come in when we squash the front of our feet. It's because we've been squashing them. Do our kids have a problem with bunions eventually? Neuropathy at the bottom of their feet. But they're supposed to be all white, and that's why all our shoes have a good white toe box. 
there we go. If you've been struggling with finding the right footwear, if you're looking for something different, something that really suits your foot and gives your foot the freedom it needs, then maybe you need to check out the Bare Feet brand. Thank you. Coming up after the break, Ernest pays a visit to a very special mini collection in Cape Town. <laughs> Are you looking to sell? Visit Change Cars and click on the Selling tab. CKD Mini Collection, we're standing here, and Mr. Mayer from uh, Mayer's Minis. Some might say you're a, a, a little bit of a fundi when it comes to minis, Mr. Mayer. Yeah, I've always been in love, to, uh, in love with minis, I think, going back to, I think, um, probably the mid-70s. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it just so happens that, uh, you know, I fell in love with a Mini Cooper S, mm -hmm. and um, I also just happened to know just about everybody that um, bought and owned Cooper S's in uh, South Africa. Yeah. You know, there were only uh, plus minus 600 uh, mini Cooper S's that came to South Africa as what they call complete knockdown kits. Yeah. They were only assembled here as opposed to the other minis that were manufactured, manufactured here in South Africa at uh, Blackheath. Surprisingly, the Blackheath factory just down the road. Uh, yes, okay, yeah, no. unfortunately they closed, I think like most of the car yeah. uh, manufacturers in the UK, uh, it's a pity, but um, we're trying to keep the Mini alive. I can see that, so let's get a quick tour of the factory that you have over here, yeah. the restoration factory. Yeah, so what we have here is also a very special car, also a uh, Cooper S. The body's been restored, uh, we're just busy building the motor that will go into this car and soon this one will also be back on the road. Oh, yeah. looking forward to it. And we have here, yeah, this is called a mini sprint. As far as I know, there's, it's probably the only one here in South Africa. It looks a bit smaller. Yes, um, I think someone had the bright idea to make it a bit smaller. In fact, there's quite a few of them in the UK. Uh, this one here, um, as you can see, it's already been done. Uh, it's about plus minus two inches shorter than the normal Mini. We hope to put the motor in here soon and get this one back on the road. So these are also very, very special cars. They were made under license in uh, Peter Maritzburg. Mm. This one was one of the ones that were made here in South Africa. Uh, and that one there, I've just discovered uh, that one was probably imported into South Africa but mm. of course it has a uh, British uh, body plate on there. Okay. Yeah. So Mr. Mayor, the reason I came here is, uh, and, and these are all fascinating, but I came here for Mini Cooper S's. Yes. And there's one standing right over there. Yeah, so that is a very special also Austin Cooper S Mark II. So what is special about this car here is that this car has got a cross-flow cylinder head, complete management system, mm. and it has got a limited slip diff in here. Wow. Can we start it up? Folks, that is it for now from this incredible facility. Join us for part two, where I take one of these Mini Cooper S's for a retro review. Coming up after the break, Mike and Timber wrap up their time at the Outdoor Expo. Did you know? The Mini is a small, two-door, four-seat car produced by the British Motor Corporation, BMC, and its successors from 1959 until 2000. Minus a brief hiatus, original Minis were built for four decades and sold during five decades. From the last years of the 1950s 
into the last year of the 20th century, over a single generation as fastbacks, estates and convertibles. Right after making its first appearance, the Mini proved to be a genuine sports car in the true sense of the word. Countless teams and private drivers recognized and acknowledged the great potential this small car had to offer with its driving behavior reminiscent of a go-kart. The most significant stronghold of this car was, and always will remain, rally racing. The works minis tuned by John Cooper in their red livery were becoming increasingly competitive with more power. Starting in 1962, the Mini Cooper and later the Mini Cooper S brought home a number of international victories, scoring the first win in the Tulip Rally with Pat Moss, the sister of Sterling Moss at the wheel. And of course, the Mini's most famous racing exploit, its overall win at the 1964 Monte Carlo Rally. Looking for finance and insurance? Visit Change Cars and click on the Financial Products tab. If you're looking for the perfect tow vehicle and caravan combination, it's behind me. If you're looking for the perfect interview, it's next to me. Today, TV meets TV. Vivian, you are co-host of the wonderful show Safari Ritters on CakeNet. All Things Motoring, proud to speak to you. Tell us about this absolute beauty, magnificent uh, combo behind us. Nice to have you guys here. Yeah, so we cater for family use. So although this vehicle is a little bit souped up, You've got a bit of extra suspension and a standard vehicle will do as well as this vehicle. Our caravans are built to last any 4x4 condition, but also to give you maximum oh. comfortability. I've got showers built in, power systems built in, got full kitchen, fridge slide outs. So it's built for a family to be off grid and to have all the comforts that you will have in your house. So now when you talk about your products, it's a Conqueror product. You own the Northgate franchise incredible product behind us the companion that we've got hooked up to this vehicle tell us about the companion specifically so i love the companion it's a nice intermediate size between the size of a caravan and the size of a trailer but it gives you all the luxury of a caravan in other words when i tow long distances or more difficult roads yes. it's more maneuverable but when i stop and fold it open like i've minia. got bed for the kids bed for the mom and dad full kitchen setup that's my caravan so now, this particular vehicle, you said it's been souped up a little bit. It's a big Varum. As far as I'm concerned, I wouldn't tell the Toyota Hilux and the Ford Ranger owners. It's a stock standard Mitsubishi Pajero Sport. But don't just tell me about it. I want to see the thing in action. You keen to take me out? Yeah, let's go. What strikes me immediately is the actual car that we're in. What I said, beautiful combination. Everybody thinks of, when you come to double cabs, the Amarok, the Ranger, the Hilux. Those are the go-to staple diets. Absolutely. But Isuzu make a lovely double cab. And the Mitsubishi Pajero Sport is an incredible place to be. It is, my opinion, probably the most underrated vehicle in South Africa. No question. Now, for viewers of the show, you said you've inspected. This year is what you're going to encounter on your trip to Botswana or to uh, Namibia, or Lesotho, or Swaziland, wherever the case may be where you're going in Southern Africa, do you always recommend getting out and doing a full walking inspection? Well, I suppose you, if you're unsure, yes, definitely. Now, in terms of the vehicle, absolutely designed for this, tried and tested, comes from Japan, the caravan itself, interesting story, manufactured in South Africa, 100% South African component, am I correct? 100% South African. We often talk about going across the border and there's a lot of nice stuff to see across the border, no question. But our own Northern Cape province is the most incredible province to explore. If I say to you personally, two questions in South Africa and across our borders, the two best places that you've been that have got the best memories for you. Mm, in South Africa, uh, the, oh, the, the Western Cape. <laughs> the old Oxwagon routes in the Western Cape through the Black Mountains, the Otunikwa Mountains, yeah, down the yeah. Khamkas Kloof. South Africa's jewel, I think. Uh, obviously, our northern parts of South Africa, beautiful areas as well on the Orange River systems. Across the border, put me in a desert, buddy, and I'll die there. Yeah. I absolutely love the desert. And that's Namibia. That's Namibia. 
Um, I love the South End uh, uh, Muir Bay area, but I love the Kanuni Mouth area. That is my absolute joy. We are not allowed to swear on the show, but many parts of Namibia are miles and miles of something old. It's just incredible. Vivian, talking about incredible, the product, the brand, what you've done for us today. Wishing you and your team the very, very best. And if you want to watch this in Afrikaans, Safari Routers, you want to watch it in English, all things motoring. I found myself over here at the Lifestyle Center Boxburg stand where they are exhibiting the very cool Travelstar motorhomes. It's a big body. Um, what about those people that are worried that they're not going to have enough uh, in edge? So uh, they are 2.3 four-cylinder turbo diesels. They have more than enough power. Uh, uphills, you don't struggle with a load. Okay. They are quite powerful and it's an eight-speed automatic. So you have all of the comfort of traveling as well. This looks convenient. What, what can you say? What's the, what's the USP about these, these vehicles behind us? These are definitely more convenient. It has a built-in toilet, built-in shower. There's enough packing space. So uh, once you're in, you're in. You're on holiday. Well, on that note, I'm going to go investigate a little bit more. But for now, for those of you guys at home, just remember you can check it out at changecars.co.za. And then a big thank you to Zane from Lifestyle Center Boxburg. Hey, looking after all your outdoor needs you so and convenience. Cheers, man. Well, that brings us to the end of the Outdoor Expo. It's been three fantastic days here, I think, for all the exhibitors. It's my first day here, my only day here, but I had an amazing time. I learned so much about just what the outdoors can offer. And as I say, you know, on all my other channels, I, I promote South Africans getting out there and exploring the world that we live in. And with all the equipment that's been on offer and displayed here today, I think you could, you could really get out there and, and have a lot of fun. Mike, you've had some incredible moments today. How was your day? So today was about learning. I learned about throwing a lawn dart. He won, he taught me. Then he learned how not to play rock, paper, scissors. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Today was slightly different. It was truly about learning, learning the products, but meeting the exhibitors. We had the pleasure of speaking to Norm. What an incredible story. Michelle, what you and your team do when it comes to rescue, absolutely incredible. To the organizers, you've done a 10 out of 10 job, but you've been told that many times. But I want to tell you again, in 2025, Outdoor Expo Bredestrom will, will happen. Yeah, we are here. Hope you enjoyed it. Till 2025, see you soon. Cheers. Here is the screen top tip of the week. Let it breathe. Clean out your car's air vents regularly. It ensures efficient airflow and prevents funky smells. Before you buy a second-hand car, screen it. It's what smart people do. Coming up next week on All Things Motoring International, Mike visits Detail My Ride in Johannesburg, and Ernest attends the Cape Root Rally. This is a show with on-road and off-road appeal. I've said before, South Africans love. Sorry, man. Let's take it from the top. Why do I do that? And this is the CKD Mini Collection. So we look after the uh, CKD Mini Collection, and this is what we are looking at here, okay. here today. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was supposed to be an off air introduction, but I think that works. This no, is no, the... but we can do it again. No problem. <laughs> I think, uh, I think I need to go to the Monte Carlo Rally now. <laughs> so, rock, paper, scissors, here we go. Two, three. Ah! And I got it wrong. Motoring advice? From where or what to buy and where to sell? 
Visit the All Things Motoring International website and click the Advice tab to ask Mikey. All Things Motoring International was brought to you by SA's most trusted online vehicle platform, Change Cars. Our name says it all. There is no safer online vehicle platform. That's not an opinion, that's a fact.